Assalamu alaikum doctors in this video I am discussing how can we take constipation history so constipation come as a functional constipation or sometimes it is down syndrome with constipation one note that the mother may complain that her child has diarrhea but it is actually constipation with overflow and swelling and misinterpreted as diarrhea so remember constipation with overflow we need to clear first of all um, constipation how can we analyze the present complaints for onset course and durations when started how long suffering these conditions anything make it better anything make it worse whatever the frequency of poo heart poo describe the poo straining during poo blood in the poo skin tags from the back passages straining of the underwear swelling any potty trained or not holding behavior crossing his legs or backs arching and tiptoeing use the bristol chart so first we will um, analyzing the uh, constipation the stool how can according to bristol chart onset course and duration what make it better and what make it worse what about the frequency of poo is it hard poo straining during the pooing blood in the poo skin tags from back passages uh, staining of the underwear swelling potty trained holding behavior that is crossing his legs or back arching and tiptoeing according to bristol chart we ask then uh, GIT we ask increased tummy size, tummy pain, throwing up, oral soreness, anal soreness, anal itching, yellow eye and red eye. Other concern any dysmorphic features, chronic illness, general FWASL that is plus activity, fever, weight loss, appetite, sleep, activity level, exercise. CVS awareness of heartbeat and fainting, chest coughs and cold, chest pain and box. CNS any headache, lower limb weakness, lower limb weakness remember any abnormality can be present. Numbness, abnormal work, mood changes, unusual behaviors, any concern about vision, hearing or speech. Urinary peak color amount frequency. Frequency very important because UTI, um, aggravate constipations. Flow the urine or not, painful peeing, recurrent bug, pee control, blood pressure measured. Musculoskeletal system, skin spots, swelling, lumps in the neck, hair, uh, hair or nail. So swelling, lumps in the neck, very important. Thyroid causes constipation, we know hypothyroidism. Hair and nails, scleroderma, SLE, pain of the muscle, bone and joint, bluish discoloration of the gums or nails, lead um, problem, carving, deviation of the back, tuft of hair or skin, dimple in the middle of his back, spina bifida, endocrine or thyroid, hot intolerance, weight gain, delayed school performance, diabetes mellitus, diabetes insipidus, hematology, pale or bleeding, bruising, recurrent buck, pass 65 to I, 50 IOA, any trauma, traveling history and drugs. Parental history are pregnancy, labor, neonatal jaundice, NIQ admissions, heel prick test, when passed poo for the first time. Very important, poo related, so when passed poo, poo for the first time. Plus minus puberty if relevant. Vaccination, missed any shots, recent shots, allergy, cow milk allergy. The nutrition about the nutrition type, amount, change in diet, fibers, drinks, water is sufficiently junk food. Nutrition very important. Nutrition type, amount, change in diet, fibers, drink, water sufficiently and junk food. Development for loss of any skills, growth chart, faltering growth. Family, social and school are consanguinity, family history of heart sprung disease or constipation. Who looks after your child? Did he start his nursery or school? Move to a new school? Enjoy schooling? Soiling at school and bullying? Psychological and impact of the disease also we need to do. Now the differential diagnosis of constipation. First, what is constipation? Definition is that. Uh, infrequent less than three times in a week or hard stool or straining more than or equal one month so infrequent or less than three times in a week or hard stool or straining more than or equal one month uh, first cause are idiopathic functional constipation remember 90 to 95 percent of constipation beyond the neonatal period because of decreased fibers or fluid decreased activity and exercise habitual on um, ignoring of the arch changing of the diet daily routine stress anxiety depressions so 90 to 95% are functional constipation. When you take the constipation history, uh, we need to give importance taking this point. How about the fibers and fluid, activity and exercise? Habitually, the child ignore um, the go to toilet. Is the diet changing? Any daily routine change and stress, anxiety, depressions. Organic causes are suspected in presence of red flags, heart sprung disease. Neurogenic or lower limb neurological examination is required. There is CP or hypotonia sometimes causes spina bifida, meningomyelocele, spinal cord trauma, tethered cord, and neurofibromatosis. Endocrine and metabolic are hypothyroidism, hyperparathyroidism like hypercalcemia, hypokalemia, diabetes mellitus, diabetes insipidus. Malabsorption is cystic fibrosis, meconium ileus, distal intestinal obstruction syndrome, and celiac. Mm, so, celiac disease, poor related, we know there is recurrent chest infection present. Uh, sorry, cystic fibrosis, recurrent chest infection, and celiac are distended abdomen, difficult to flush the poo. 
এলার্জি অ্যাবাউ দ্য কাউ মেট পুটিন ইন্টলারেন্সি ড্রাগ ইন্ডিউস ফর টক্সিস আর অপয়েস আয়রন নারকোটিক্স ভিন ক্রিস্টিন ক্রে ওয়ান ফর এক্সোকাইন পেনক্রেটিক ইনসাফিসিয়েন্সি ভিটামিন ডি ইন্টক্সিকেশন অ্যান্ড ল্যাড এনাল এনাটমিক ম্যালফরমেশন ডিজিজ আর এনোরেকটাল এক্সামিনেশন রিকোয়ার্ড এনাল স্টেনোসিস এনাল ফিশার ইউটিআই দেন স্ট্রাকচার আর পোস্ট অপারেটিভ অ্যান্ড পোস্ট এনইসি আদার্স আর এস এলি স্ক্লেরোডারমা এনোরেকশিয়া নার্ভোসা এনএআই অর চাইল্ড এবিউস সো দিজ আর দ্য কনস্টিপেশনস হিস্ট্রি এন্ড ডিডি থ্যাংক ইউ